Well, I paid off my student loan today. I've had a student loan for 21 years, and uh, it was a lot of work. I thought I'd just share a couple tips. I know this is my guitar channel, but um, I also put real life stuff on here as well. I don't give any financial advice, of course. Uh, this is just my own experience as a person that had a student loan for 21 years. Um, I don't regret the student loan. Had I not got a student loan, I'd still be making 10 bucks an hour. You know, I needed to get a career and a family supporting job and my degree, both my degrees helped me do that. But I had a couple of tips and recommendations. Um, the first thing I would recommend is that when you do borrow money to go to school, definitely have an end point in mind. By the time I went back to college for the second time, I knew exactly what I didn't want to do for a living. I didn't want to stand behind a counter. I didn't want to push a wheelbarrow. I didn't want to be a laborer. I didn't want to be um, someone running a cash register. Nothing against all those jobs. I mean, those are fine careers for a lot of people, but I was kind of burned out on jobs that had no benefits, no vacation, no future. So uh, somehow I narrowed it down to financial services and I was really in, in, interested in the investment side. So, you know, first things have an end game in mind. I strongly recommend, you know, once your loans are in repayment, try if at all possible to avoid going into deferment or forbearance. And those are a little bit different. You know, for example, if you have a job lost or uh, some financial calamity, you can put it into deferment. And um, through my student loan program, if my loans were in deferment, no interest was accruing. So at least I wasn't going backwards. I had a period of time where I was underemployed and I had to use forbearance. So my loans were actually growing for two years, about five years out of college. And it took me a little time to find the right fit. Um, I mean, it's great if everyone gets their career operating in line right out of college. It took me a little time to find a good fit. So the other thing I recommend is um, the sooner you get serious about your loans, the better. So going into this year, me and my wife still had actually a pretty big amount on the loan. Um, you know, and we finally realized that this loan's not going to go away unless it takes center stage for a while. So for about seven months, uh, we really started hammering it and we made some tough decisions. You know, a couple other things needed to get put on the back burner. We had to use a little bit of savings. Um, a lot of the extra money was going to the loan, but we said, look, you know, um, imagine the next, you know, 30 plus years without that payment versus fooling around with this for another five or seven years. Um, so looking back, there was times the first five or six years where I did have windfalls or I did have, you know, um, big paychecks and I could have put a couple extra hundred on the student loan but I was really into living for the moment. So, you know, if you make big payments early, it just saves you so much money on the interest. Um, that's really about it. I'll, I'll share with you, at, when you've had a loan for 21 years, I used to joke with my wife, I said, I've been married to this student loan. You know, it's like, it's a relief. It's like, ah, oh, I can breathe again. It feels really good. So anyway, uh, I might start posting. You notice on my YouTube page here, I put a little link. It says, Stop Being Broke. You know, even though this page is mostly about guitar and music and what I do to unwind, being broke sucks. It didn't make me more spiritual. It didn't make me more generous. Um, I like having choices in my life. And when I'm healthy financially, I can help others a lot more. So um, anyway, I might post an occasional video. I'm not Dave Ramsey. That guy's the guru. Uh, but some of his concepts have helped me, you know. And Me and my wife, we were never able to cut out credit cards completely. But we had the one credit card rule. You know, if one card's maxed out, then we need to stop using the card, period. And that kept us out of trouble. You know, I find... Uh, a lot of people that get in trouble have three or four cards and next thing you know, life is a nightmare and we just didn't want to go that route. Well, anyway, it feels good to be student loan free and uh, 
I look forward to getting back to my musical posts. You know, this page is really more like a musical diary than it is like, you know, I'm, I'm just an amateur player, but that's my stress relief. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Take care.